Hi, I'm Alex Adamide, I'm a neurosurgeon at uh, the Royal Melbourne Hospital, and my main interest is cerebrovascular neurosurgery, which involves aneurysms and subarachnoid hemorrhage. And um, an aneurysm is essentially a, like a blister or a weakness on the blood vessel wall that can rupture at any given time. And there's probably one or two of us in this room which harp on a, uh, an unruptured aneurysm that we don't recognize. Uh, once a subarachnoid hemorrhage occurs, there is lots of blood on the surface of the brain that causes, uh, essentially aggravates blood vessels to constrict. And uh, that results in um, essentially ischemia to the brain, uh, which can result in stroke or death. Approximately 15% of patients would die at the time of their aneurysm rupture, but the majority of our patients would suffer a stroke or die because of vasospasm, which is this phenomenon of narrowing of the blood vessels. It happens about seven or ten days after the initial bleed. So the plan and our aim, and with the help of the Brain Foundation, is to identify biomarkers that can predict which patients will go on to develop vasospasm so we could um, um, target those patients and treat them prophylactically. We are using microRNAs, which are small non-coding RNAs, um, which uh, modulate uh, gene expression and protein transcription. And um, our aim is to identify signatures of RMA, uh, microRNAs on admission and uh, thereby identify high-risk patients for vasospasm. And subsequently, our second aim is to actually identify therapeutic targets so that uh, with techniques, uh, with recent techniques uh, known as RNA interference, and um, uh, we are aiming to um, identify uh, specific uh, genes that uh, can be switched off um, at will to prevent vasospasm from occurring. So hopefully in one year's time I'll be able to present some of that uh, data. Thank you very much.